Dear AS Physics students, have you ever lost marks in paper three just because you weren't sure what to write for your limitations and your improvements? Well, you're not alone. In this video, I'm going to show you exactly how to write them clearly, correctly, as well as confidently. Now, let us begin with the quick truth. You know that the limitations and the improvements part is the part where the, most of the students always lose their marks easily, right? But the good news is that once you have mastered how to write them correctly, these marks are always yours every time. You know what? Cambridge is not looking for you to be perfect. In fact, nothing is perfect. They are actually checking whether you understand why your experiment is not perfect and what practical solution that you could suggest, right, to make, to improve this experiment. So this video, I am going to guide you on how to write your limitations and your improvements. Are you ready? Let's get started. Now, first of all, why your limitations and your improvements matter? First is because it can show your understanding on the overall experimental design, and it could also help the examiners to access your critical thinking, right? And of course, it could gain valuable marks easily. You could gain that valuable marks easily. Now, I keep on talking about limitation, right? But just want to make sure that you understand what is limitation. Limitation is something that is real, practical issue that causes your results to be inaccurate or unreliable. I want you to think it easier, right? So you think, I want you to think of limitation is that um, something, well, something that uh, occur during your experiment, right? During the time you're conducting the experiment, which you cannot solve it immediately, right? That's its limitation. Now, examples, right? Confusion, never mind. I give you some examples. Let's say you're using a stopwatch for a short period of time. You're supposed to measure something that is moving very fast. That is what we call short time interval. So what is your limitation? Reaction time is your limitation because you, every human, we have our own reaction time. And the normal reaction time, right? The reaction time for a normal human is within 0 0.3 second to 0 0.7 second. Right, uh, so do you, maybe I press the stopwatch a little bit faster or I could press the stopwatch a little bit slower. That is what we call reaction time limitation. Another example, reading an analog scale from an emitter, right? You might face a parallax error. What is parallax error? Parallax error is the error that caused by your eye position that is not perpendicular to the scale on the emitter, analog emitter in this case. You might be tilting your head while you you didn't realize that you're tilting your head a bit maybe and you are maybe you are looking around and then you take your reading. That is parallax error. Right. Now, don't state, whenever you write your limitation, never ever state human error. It's human error. Right. In fact, state the stopwatch has a resolution or the sensitivity of 0 0.01 second, which limits timing accuracy. Don't you think it sounds more matured when you write your answer, when you write your limitation? Because when you state human error, the examiner will wonder what kind of human error could have occurred. So you have to explain that human error. Now, the common types of limitation, of course, we have some common types of limitation, maybe human reaction time, example, maybe you start the stopwatch a little bit faster, I stop the stopwatch a little bit earlier, etc. Or you have parallax error in reading some scales, 
And maybe if you are conducting experiment which required you to make a ruler or rod horizontal, so you have difficulties in making the ruler or the rod horizontal. Or maybe this could be caused by the equipment or the apparatus limitations, maybe the sensitivity of the instruments. For example, maybe you were given a meter rule to measure a thickness of um, a paper or a thickness of a wire. So that is being called equipment limitation, right? Because they didn't prepare you with the correct instruments to do your, to conduct, to do your measurements. So that is one of the limitations, which you cannot stop during the experiment. Don't you think so? Now, how to write a limitation. So if whenever you write a limitation, make sure that you be very specific. You have to mention the source of error. For example, like what I say, you have, um, you are being prepared with a meter rule to measure the thickness of a wire. You know the wire, how thin the wire is. The correct apparatus that you're supposed to use is micrometer screw gauge. But the problem is, there's no micrometer screw gauge. So you have no choice, but you use your meter rule to measure the thickness of the wire. That could be one of the limitation, right? The thickness of the wire could not be measured accurately by a meter rule. That is one of your limitations. Just remember, be specific whenever you write a limitation. And how are you going to, whenever you have already listed out your uh, limitations, make sure that you have matching improvements. So what are improvements? So what can, improvements is that, what can you realistically change the setup to reduce the error? So maybe one of the limitations is that using a meter rule to measure the thickness of the wire, right, cause error or increase the percentage error of the diameter or the length of the wire, maybe, right? So your improvement could be use a micrometer to measure the thickness of the wire or the diameter of the wire. Uh, so that is what we call matching improvements, right? Example, another example that I want to give you, maybe one of the limitations is the reaction time when you are using stopwatch. Yes, it is very inaccurate when you use the stopwatch, right? The improvement is instead of using a stopwatch, you might want to suggest to use the light gates, right? You have two gates, one gate at as the starting time, and then when the object passes through the second gate, so it will stop the time. But remember, light gates must be connected to data logger to measure the time. Or maybe your limitation is parallax error when reading a scale, right? Par analog emitter or analog voltmeter. Improvement is that maybe replace the analog emitter or voltmeter with a digital emitter or voltmeter. Reading will be more accurate. Now, reminder, right? Always match the improvement to the specific limitation. This is where many students go wrong. Right, common improvements that I would like to suggest to you is that maybe you use a more precise instruments, but um, my suggestion is that it is better for you to state which instrument could be used. Suggest an, improv uh, suggest an instrument to replace the instruments given. Right, or maybe you are measuring um, uh, the speed of the moving object on an inclined plane, right? So if you want to reduce the frictional force acting on the object on an inclined plane, you might want to spread some fine powder on the inclined plane to reduce the friction. Because when you do your calculation, you ignore friction. If you want to reduce that, just spread some fine powder, right? Or if you're measuring the speed of something that is moving, you might want to mark the starting point and the end point by using a marker pen. That is what I call suggestion. You suggest to use this to measure, okay, or to mark on the starting point and the end point. Or if you're measuring something that is moving so fast and you know that you couldn't capture that because just use a video camera. But don't just use the video camera because you just 
you need to play back frame by frame. So remember, don't write, conduct the experiment in vacuum. This is not realistic. How can we conduct the experiment in vacuum? How do we breathe? Right, or suggest using a perfect meter rule. Everybody knows that we humans are not perfect. How do we have a perfect? How can we have a perfect meter rule? That is not logistic, not logical at all, right? In fact, you can write, use a digital calipers with a 0 0.01 millimeter precision, or maybe you are measuring an angle by using a protractor, place a white paper or white screen behind the protractor so that, right, the reading of the angle could be read more accurately. Now, common limitation, right? This is a common 100% true for all the experiments in the AS Physics Paper 3. Question number two, always write this. Two readings are not enough to draw a valid conclusion, right? And then the common improvement is that take more readings, don't find the average, but instead plot a graph to see the relationship. Memorize this. Right, you will get two marks immediately. Right, be realistic. Think like a physics student in the school lab, not a NASA engineer. Remember that, right? Now, tips to score marks here. Always link your limitation to its effect on accuracy. So, because this is experiment, we want our experiment to be as accurate as possible. And always suggest a relevant and achievable improvements. Be realistic and use a proper physics terms, limitation or reaction time. That is what we call proper physics term and avoid guessing or unrealistic solution. Avoid, avoid that. Right now, the quick practice is that, okay? You have a quick practice here. If you think that you have mastered, you have understand what I said, imagine you are measuring the length of the pendulum with a meter rule. So what could be the limitation? And what's your improvement? If you have your limitation and you have your improvement, just comment below. I will reply you one by one. So that is all right about our limitations and improvements so you don't you need to master your limitation and improvements because it can easily boost your as physics paper three marks just remember first one be specific second be realistic third match your improvements to your limitation and don't forget to like subscribe and join my facebook group and for free resources tips and weekly physics Q&A. So I'll see you in my next video. Bye. Thank you for watching.